If you don't know what's going on, start paying attention. It's all for um, now. It can be used on the public record if you need to use it in a court case. Um, I've been given some um, fantastic uh, documents. The sovereignty has been declared through by eight nations, and those nations have all uh, registered their intellectual property through the World Intellectual Property Organization, which is called WIPO for short. Also been registered into the Maori land authority as well which is internationally uh, recognized we've got some serious things happening beyond the scenes all the all the australian code of arms every state every state right is um but the corporation that you think is the government is acting fraudulently now by using those code of arms those code of arms the intellectual property because all the fauna and fauna of this country um, but, you know, is for the First Nations people. That's all been agreed on, no worries. Yep, cool. So what they're having now is they've sort of flipped it and gone, all right, well, if that's ours, like as in, you know, we are the custodians of all that sort of stuff, and we say, ah, oh, no one disputes it, and then they are custodians of the intellectual property as well. Ah. So now the intellectual property has been, had to go through the Trademark Association, International Trademark they didn't want to know about it. So they've had to go through and literally develop their own trademark office that's been recognised internationally and then trademark their own stuff on there that's theirs and then be internationally recognised. Now, behind the scenes, the government doesn't want you to know this. Behind the scenes, you know, the media's working with the government. They don't, they're not going to tell you about this, right? Who's going to tell you about this? Johnny Q from the Rural Rebels is going to tell you about this, right? We're getting around the people, but we need to keep sharing this shit like we did in the last one and um and get around everyone that's working hard so um there is so much going on but it's exciting times ladies and gentlemen get around it like you have been it's unreal now the attorney general kai and mayor i think his name is i've got some documents here so <laughs> so not only as the indigenous crew you know the sovereigns the brothers and sisters there the elders that have got um, uh, first in law, first in law. What it means is it sort of holds the sovereignties and the, and, the, and the place was never ceded and it was never sold. And this is where the voice is trying to manipulate people to think that it has it, but it hasn't. And, and if people vote yes and it gets up, which I don't think it will, then the fraud that's going on is going to be like even harder to come to get undone, right? It's just going to be an absolute nightmare. So we need to clean the slate. We need to see what the hell is going on. I, I exposed a video on the NIIA, did my little bit on it, and I can see a lot of things that are happening now that that's, you know, all the information is being shared. Last video was so successful is because break out of those echo chambers. So I um, emailed with a short little memo to all the senators that have got their email address available to the public there's about 5 or 10% that uh, don't. You have to fill out some, you know, form. And blah, blah, blah. It was too much. So it was just whoever had the apa.gov.au email address, I copied and pasted. And it took me a little bit. Did all that. A little memo with the video. Threw it to them. Right? And this is what we have to do is we have to tell the senators. We have to tell everyone, all the politicians, everyone that's represented elected, we have to be tagging them and sending them emails and videos and ringing them. I rang them up today and I just said, look, I just, and I rang up the, my member, my federal member for Mayo, which is Rebecca Sharkey. And I had a beautiful little conversation there with her staff. And I just said, look, I just want to um, voice my opinion as a constituent that I am not in favor of this uh, new misinformation and disinformation bill that's being proposed. I said, um, I don't believe that um, the government or anyone should be the arbiter of truth. I think that should be coming down to the public. Um, arbitra being an arbiter of truth, just... And, and the people have already looked into it, and it's, all that's going to go down is fact-checkers that are... How many facts can a fact-checker check if a fact-checker takes fact-checks? ...that are someone who's not accountable, so, you know, you can't have that. You know, we've, we've, we've created a democracies and societies over centuries, you know, to um, have accountability and, and to just throw it away like that is not a good option, I don't think. So I'll go back to this paperwork and, um, you know, and I'll put it there. There you go. Now, I'll just pause it there. Now you'll see also that that's uh, got the old public notary, all that sort of stuff now. Not to go into too much detail about that paperwork, you can pause it, people can, you know, do whatever they want to do with it. 
Um, that's the sort of evidence that I'm going to be bringing up in my case. That's stuff that um, there are documents that you've gone through the pro I've gone through the process and um, been notarized up in Queensland, and that was with Terra Australia States Assembly and um, very powerful documents. That's all the stuff that was it was translated or adapted from uh, the works that came from Anna von Ritz, but then not just taken like as a template and just gone boom. It's actually had to be interpreted and then translated into so that Australians can use it because we have a different scenario in our history where we didn't go through a kinetic war like they did over there so you know and this is where Australia was very important because there was never a treaty done so the Kiwis did do a treaty um, so it's a very complex situation behind the scenes and if you don't know what's going on it's a historical vote the referendum we've only had 44 in our history and only eight have passed Right, so you can go back and do, do some research on that sort of stuff, and that's really interesting stuff, right? And then you'll start questioning why we've got a local council. You fucking cowards put a finger in the faces of your MPs, but you won't. I have. Not you. Johnny Q. <laughs> Johnny Q. I fucking know you. It's all right. If you don't know what's going on, start paying attention.